today we're taking on mother nature again in a different way okay We have arrived. So warming up the car, a couple last minute things. I see you boy, we're coming on you boy. We got you. We're coming on this guy. Drift it out, go drift it out baby. Welcome back to the channel folks. Today, today's a big day ladies. Bigger than tits in Texas. It all started about exactly one year ago when I heard word. There's a group of guys racing clapped out $500 cars on a track of ice folks. This was supposed to be my first ice race season in recorded history at the Minden Ice Races. On the one and only ASN recognized ice racetrack located in Minden, Ontario, driver and machine against the unforgiving landscape to push driving skills and patience to the limit and beyond. This is ice racing. But the goddamn COVID shut down the season. Racing sleds on the lake, they used to call me Ricky Quick or Dick Fast. So I was thinking about writing dick fast up the side of it in huge letters. Though I did hunt down a $500 car and begin to preparate it. In order to run this ice season, I was going to have to do one thing I never do and something I hate to do. And that's read the instructions and follow the rules. And the rules for this car prep are about as chill as a polar bear with a popsicle. So I started ice prepping this, started prepping it. I pulled the headlights, pulled the taillights. Boxed with some aluminum. The COVID shut down the season, ladies. Leaving me to sit and wait. Just like Cinderella did, buddy, before she dropped that shoe, okay? But anyways, the time has come, boys. We're headed back. We got the dick fast four banger loaded up. And we're on the road, folks. Today's Saturday, the main race day. Yesterday, on Friday, they had a tech inspection day. Our busy schedules, we didn't have a lot of time to preparate the vehicle. So we thrashed there Thursday night. We got it to the point we thought we were going to pass tech. Brought it down Friday and failed, folks. But it was minor. Just had to uh, put some bigger numbers on it. And uh, I needed a reflective triangle because I'm a rookie. So we took care of that, no problem. Well, anyways, while we were down there yesterday, we got an opportunity to put the car on what they call the tractionizer. That chews your tires up and gives you a lot more grip. Check it out, lads. They use this here roller rig, boys, to uh, tractionize the tires. And I'm not going to lie to you, folks. That's chewed up like a Sasquatch's last dinner, buddy. Going to do all four of them, three minutes each. They're uh, turning out pretty much like what I felt that other guy's rubber over there felt like. So, uh, sorry for grabbing your rubber, buddy, but. We're running it about 45 seconds at a time and then snowing it down so it doesn't get so hot that the rubber fuses back together, boys and girls. This is what we've been told anyways. And they left us alone with their fancy rig, so if one of us dies, who you blaming? Not me. You probably blame me then. <laughs> the spikes are right in there, brother. See that? <laughs> Whoa! It fell off. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're gonna have to jack it back up again.
I love how you give it that pat for assurance. Now we swapped out the rears, put them on the front so we can tractionize them too. But because I got these two decent uniroyals here, they're gonna go back on the front for the power wheels, baby. Took us a while with our primitive hand tools that I borrowed from a guy to get all four tires chewed up like your last dinner, buddy, but we did it anyways, so. Never done any kind of racing like this on ice, but as we all know, I've got tens of thousands of hours out driving in the winter, buddy, so. Might do all right. Might not. Might get crushed like a bug. Guess we'll have to find out. Anyways, we're almost there. We got a few last minute things to do to the car. And then we're gonna be getting another quick tech inspection. Then they got us uh, five practice laps and then a qualifier. Then this afternoon, if we make it that far, a main event, 14 lapper, boys and girls. So uh, wish us luck. Alrighty folks, we have arrived. Just warming up the car, a couple last minute things. Got to get the sponsor stickers on. And we're heading back to tech, baby. Try our luck. Real close, got a window banner to put on. 10 minutes to get to tech. And uh, we just gotta let her warm up so that sticker will stick. And we're gonna try our luck again, ladies. Good times. Well, boys, basically they told me that uh, I probably shouldn't do the practice laps because the track's gonna be packed. And then they're saying I'll be allowed to run my 10 lap qualifier because I got the tires tractionized yesterday. But they're saying I should request to go to the back because as a rookie, having never done this, apparently it's a real nightmare out there. It's real slick. And I don't want to get caught up in a big group of cars and taken out in the first, in the qualifier. So we will uh, probably start at the back in the qualifier and just feel it out, boys. But once I get going, if it feels right, I put it down, boys. Super hey. Well boys here we are I'm lined up for my qualifying run they put me in position 9 out of 20 and they said as a rookie I should start at the back of the pack but uh, they put me at number nine, and you know what? I think I'm just gonna stay here. The main goal out here today, boys, is strictly to survive, okay? Just like that survival man that used to be on TV. I'm gonna play my best act as him today, ladies. My guess is if I can make all the laps and survive without going in a snowbank, I won't come in last, because I think some other people might end up in some snow banks. So that's our goal, ladies. I somehow ended up starting in six. But whatever, buddy. Let's do it. We are off, folks. Into the bank on the first turn. We're officially dead last. Into the bank again, boys. 
and the car died. I'm back in it, boys. Got it out, boys. Away we go. Alrighty boys, so I did my first qualifier, put her in the bank twice, but uh, I managed to get her back on the track, and from what the guys around here are telling me, that wasn't her first barge for a friggin' guy's first run ever, but uh, I can do better than that guys, I started getting the hang of the corners there right at the end of the race, frig I'm itching to get back out, but uh, not really sure where I stand in the qualifying. There's a potential that I'm not last because some other guys got her stuck worse than I did. But I uh, guess we'll find out here. I got my first race coming up here before noon. So hang in tight, boys. We're getting into the action. Listen, folks. This is a good time out here with good people. Everybody's willing to help out, okay? I know these motorsports clubs and a lot of these track days at other places is a real boys club okay an outsider comes in and they want to see you fail buddy but hey that's racing nice thing over here is these folks encourage new participants don't be afraid to get out here and try your luck folks just pounding a little bit of ghost sauce in here boys makes her go alrighty boys I'm heading back up my exhaust fell off so we're a little loud now good times baby alrighty boys are back in the lineup we, uh, we did some minor adjustments on the uh, tire pressure get a little more grip I had them way too hard and uh, so yeah we got an exhaust mod and a tire pressure mod baby we might do a little better this time. I slammed the bank, boys. <laughs> slammed it like a cold beer this time. Yeah, buddy. And she got stuck. Like one of those victims in a scream movie or something, okay? And yeah, so what? That's me over there getting tugged on. Like I just dropped 20 bucks at the midnight massage. Get off my back about it. Check it out, boys. Even though I put her in the bank here. I'm still third from last, so evidently some people suck more than me, if you can believe that. Well boys, we're heading back up for our final race of the day. This time the main goal is just to stay on the track, boys, and finish this sucker out, okay? No question there. Yeah boy, we're in it, boy! Oh! 
starting to get the hang of it. Finishing up today in 16th out of 20. Anyways, boys and girls, that's the uh, short and curlies on how we spent our Saturday off there. Yeah, I had any more fun there, I'd probably likely to drop my dinner. Yeah, I could get away with doing that a few couple half a dozen thousand times in the winter if I had the choice, buddy. That's a good time out there. And you know what? Don't be afraid to get out here, try this yourself. To run more classes out here than a god darn community college, okay? More than a trade school. They got no wheel drive, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, four wheel drive, side wheel drive. They got everything except foot races going on, folks. I spent $500 on this car, a handful of hours. And I gotta give a huge thank you to all the volunteers and all the folks out there making this happen. Especially my buddy Dustin Brown, director of the TLMC. If it wasn't for him, we probably wouldn't have been out here, buddy. He helped us get all the tidbits information we needed. He even lent me the helmet so I could run that day. Okay? Get out there and have some fun, boys. Till next time. Cheers, folks.